Hello, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to this video tutorial on understanding sample rate and bit depth in Logic Pro 9. Now, keep in mind that sample rate and bit depth are the two main factors regarding the quality of your recording. It doesn't matter what DAW you're using, whether it be Logic or Pro Tools or FRL Studio or Ableton Live, whatever you're using, the sample rate and the bit depth are the two main factors of digital audio, and they basically determine the quality of the audio but they do determine two different things uh, in order to check the sample rate in logic 9 you have to go up to settings and then audio and then you'll get a list a little menu for under sample rate and there's six different possible choices now what does the sample rate do well the sample rate determines the frequency uh, range of your audio recording uh, basically what it does is it, it, the sample rate determines the number of samples taken per second during the analog to digital conversion process. Now keep in mind that anytime you speak or sing into a microphone, that signal is analog because it's a continuous electrical voltage that runs down the microphone cable into your audio interface. Your audio interface, like an Mbox, or I'm using an Alessi uh, an uh, IO26 interface, it converts that analog voltage into a digital uh, signal, meaning that there's ones and zeros. It's a numeric, discrete signal. And it's something the computer can understand. And it has to take a certain number of samples per second to reconstruct the digital waveform in a digital signal as opposed to an analog signal. So the higher you set your sample rate, the higher your frequency range is going to be, meaning that uh, higher pitched instruments like uh, piccolo and flute and uh, crash cymbals and high squealy guitar solos are going to sound much more accurate at a high frequency rate or a high sample rate, I should say, uh, rather than a lower sample rate. Now, a couple um, different uh, numbers here. There's six different numbers here. And keep in mind, this is all dependent upon what audio interface you're using. If you have an audio interface that doesn't support 192 kilohertz uh, sample rate, it's going to show up as an italicized number here, meaning that you can't use that value. Um, my interface can, supports up to 192 kilohertz. Now, uh, if I set my sample rate that high, it means that I have 192,000 samples per second that are reconstructing my digital waveform from the original analog waveform. Now, uh, 44.1 kilohertz, 44,100 44, samples per second is the standard for the Red Book CDR, like a stock standard CD that you have. The standard sample rate is 44.1. If you want to go above and beyond, I usually recommend to my students that they record at 48,000 or at 96,000 if your computer can handle it. It just means that later on if you, you know if you're if you plan on your mix being used as an HD format, you're already there. You know, you set your mix to 96, you can always down convert. When you up convert to a uh, to a higher sample rate, you're not really doing your recording any justice. So that's the sample rate. And the second factor of digital audio is the bit depth, also known as the bit resolution. And the way, can, the way we can find that in Logic is go to Preferences, Audio. And there's a little, just a checkbox. It's very simple. You can either have a 24-bit recording or a 16-bit recording. When you uncheck the box, it's a 16-bit recording. Bit depth refers to the number of layers of audio quantization, which means the number, basically how loud or how soft the recording can be. When you set your bit depth to 24-bit, you are opening up the possibility of more mix headroom, meaning, meaning that your uh, mix can be louder. When you set it to 16, it's going to be a little bit softer. There's also 30-bit, 2-bit float now in Pro Tools 10, uh, but we don't have that option in Logic. Uh, so basically, the bit depth means how loud can your recording be? How much uh, mix headroom do you have? So I hope this video was helpful to you guys who are brand new to recording in Logic Pro or brand new to recording audio altogether. Uh, if you really like this video, please visit my sponsors. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks.